Well, everybody, welcome to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. I haven't been here for a few days. I've been taking care of a sick family. Been having to take the son to a school in the morning, so and that's usually when I try to shoot these videos, so I apologize for not being here, but yet here I am, and uh, let's get up on talking Washington football, shall we? So, but I think before we actually get into Washington football, we have to talk about Baltimore Ravens football. Why are we talking about Baltimore Ravens football Mr. Greg, well, because the big news is about Lamar Jackson signing a non-exclusive tender, or being offered that, basically, um, so that he can go and negotiate with other teams, which basically is, is the death knell for uh, Lamar Jackson and Baltimore. They're parting ways. That, that is all that there is to it. And it is very interesting. Now, from what I have been gathering, you know, watching other podcasts and things like that, um, uh, the Pat McAfee podcast where, you know, they were discussing that it seems like Lamar's mother is representing him. And... <sighs> You know, usually when you have a full-fledged agent, they're going to go out there, they're going to throw out information where they're going to say, these teams are already, you know, interested in our, you know, my um, client and they're willing to offer him X amount. So, you know, the basically, whether if it's false information or whatever, they're, they're building up interest well if it's artificial or not and when it's your mama <laughs> that's representing you that's a little bit different basically he's representing himself and i'm not sure if that's really working to his advantage because right now teams are immediately going out and saying we are not interested in lamar jackson whatsoever Teams like the Commanders have came out and said that. I believe Miami, uh, Atlanta, you know, teams that it kind of makes sense because these are teams that need a quarterback. Now, you may say, well, does Miami actually need a quarterback? Because, uh, you know, Tua, he's solid when he's in there, but, you know, he's had so many issues with concussions and things like that. Miami could use a quarterback, but yet, you know, on, on the flip side, you can also argue, well, you know, Jackson's had some injuries here lately. Still, Jackson was an MVP of the league just not too long ago. And Jackson is a very dynamic quarterback. Anybody would love to have Lamar Jackson on their team. I would love to have Lamar Jackson as a commander. You know, the thing is, I was watching the... Um, Rich Eisen podcast last night on YouTube. And, you know, he was also talking about, you know, is there this sort of collusion with the other NFL teams uh, regarding Lamar Jackson coming right out immediately and saying, we don't want Lamar Jackson. But then he's looking at, he shows up a graphic of all the teams that are quarterback hungry. And, of course, you know, everybody is going to say Washington is in the mix because nobody knows a thing about Sam Howe. And I'll, I'll give you that. Sam Howe has only played in one game. He started one game. He looked really good in that game. Everybody's saying he's a steal from the draft last year. I still feel like you need to give him a chance because nobody knew anything about Lamar Jackson before he, he got in there. But people already seem to think that let's not hand the controls over to Sam Howell just yet. There may be some truth into that. Who knows? And I think that's the, the thing. Who knows about Sam Howell? You know, I'm always a big proponent in 
create, you know, developing your own, developing your own talent and building up your team. In the end, it saves you money and hopefully it builds morale, it builds a team, keeps your team together. And those guys are going to want to stay and, and win championships. I mean, that, that should be the philosophy. Now, that may not always happen. But still, there seems to be the sentiment from the Rich Eisen show. that It just makes too much sense for Lamar Jackson to go to Washington. But it, it, it's from a nefarious point of view. And the reason why I say that is with the ownership issue looming, the sale looming, nobody right now wants to sign Lamar Jackson to this $250 million guaranteed deal. I mean, that's just an outrageous deal, right? And who wants to to be the first to have that unprecedented thing of, of being the first team to... S- Number one, to give up two first-round picks and to sign that huge deal. I mean, this will be a first time in NFL history. Well, what better team, what better owner? Because this is an ownership decision. This is not a decision on the coaching level. You know, any coach, if money wasn't an issue, any coach would be like, yeah, by by all means, bring him in. Uh, But... This is an ownership decision. And if ownership is getting ready to sell and he doesn't really care what happens to the team later on, he's going to be counting his money. That ownership is going to be like, sure, let's bring him in. Let's let's bring Lamar Jackson in. This is kind of a stick it to the next owner. And now while the fans will be ecstatic, you know, this is this will be kind of a, a Dan Snyder move. You know, the last parting move that Dan Snyder, it's a bookend move, right? You know, he started his ownership career in Washington signing all these big names to huge contracts. Of course, at that point, they were kind of over the hill. Lamar Jackson is definitely not over the hill. But, you know, to end his ownership career signing this the biggest contract probably in in history for a quarterback a guaranteed contract and also give up you know first round draft picks too along with that which you know some people may feel like that that may not be such a a huge thing in, in the end but the thing that you have to look at is how are you going to be able to to pay your other guys you know i mean Luckily, we we got Terry McLaurin under contract, but you're looking at some of your other guys down the road that you want to keep, like a Jahan Dotson. Um, you're going to want to keep, um, you know, Sweat. You're going to have to look at his contract. Chase Young, possibly. So I mean, and of course, Deron Payne. We don't know what we're going to do with him. Uh, we got him under. Right now, the the um, the franchise tag as well. So this changes the complexion of your team signing a quarterback like that. And it's not like that this team is ready to win a Super Bowl because we have to build up that offensive line, and that has been the kicker right there. So this is a very interesting thing, folks. Um, do I see? Any other reason why Lamar Jackson would come to Washington, I I don't. I think on the coaching perspective, I think that Sam Howell is a good choice. I think Rivera wants to develop Sam Howell. I think Eric Bieniemy wants to develop Sam Howell. Um, But I think if ownership does bring in Lamar Jackson, they will certainly build a offense around Lamar Jackson and they'll they'll be very successful around him uh, but it's going to be difficult to keep a team together because of that contract and uh, so that's where I feel like it could be very likely 
that Lamar Jackson comes to Washington. Now, you know, John Kemp, who who's a very respected, well respected uh, beat reporter for Washington, came right out on this Twitter uh, yesterday or the day before that and said, "Let me get, let me set the record straight. Lamar Jackson is not coming to Washington." And I believe him one hundred and ten percent. The only caveat I'd say to that is. Dan Snyder can be Dan Snyder, and he may sign that contract just for spite. So, would Lamar Jackson come to Washington under those circumstances? Absolutely. Absolutely he would. And especially if it's Jeff Bezos that is going to be the next owner of the Washington Commanders, then yes, he he wants to make Jeff Bezos squirm. And what better way to make Jeff Bezos your arch enemy squirm is to have him deal with this huge, gigantic, guaranteed contract as you're heading out and living on your yacht for the rest of your life. Folks, let me know in the comments section what you think about this. I mean, I love Lamar Jackson. I'd love to see him in Washington, uh, but under the right circumstance, um, I feel like you bring him into Washington, you're going to lose a lot of good players because you're just simply not going to be able to afford to keep them. Uh, like I said, leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it. It helps the algorithm. Um, share this video out with your other friends. Um, and with that said, I will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.